Hi, I'm a part of the crew at ValleyCards.com where we sell EasyGo, Yamaha, and Club Car nationwide. We wanted to make a series of videos to answer questions we hear on the phone and on our lot all the time. One of the number one questions would be 36 volt or 48 volt electric cars. With electric cars becoming ever more popular these days, people are having to switch to them. With that, people are looking for the strongest and the fastest so they can outrace their buddy or whatever else they want to do with the vehicle. So, most people come into our lot and say, don't show me a 36 volt car, only show me a 48 volt car because I want the most power. That's true that 48 volt cars typically have more power than a 36 volt vehicle, but it's not true in all cases. For example, the 36 volt EasyGo, which is a PDS, which would mean that your forward reverse switch is actually going to be on your dash, will actually have just as much power as most club car or Yamahas that are 48 volts. Now, the difference is, is that if you take a Club Car IQ, which is a 48 volt 4 horsepower car, or a Club Car Precedent, you actually have more power on the Club Car Precedent or the Club Car DS than you would on the Easy Go. But what I'm trying to tell you here is, is that don't be consumed, I guess you would say, by the, by the voltage itself. You need to know what strength, the, uh, what horsepower, excuse me, the motor is on the 36 volt cart and the 48 volt cart and what size the controller is on the carts as well. So that's the two things that really control the speed and the power and the strength is going to be the actual motor itself or the controller. Let me just give you an example. A 2002 EasyGo PDS would have just as much power as a 2002 Club Cart DS but the EasyGo is 36 volt and the Club Cart is 48 volt. So take that in consideration when you're looking for your car. It's not always the voltage that matters as much as it is the motor. Thank you. Have a great day. Come visit us, valleycarts.com.